Hello all. My name is Shraddha Tone, Assistant Professor, Computer Engineering Department. In this session, we are going to see the windowing and clipping concept in computer graphics. So first of all, we will see the introduction about what is the windowing and clipping. So graphic packages allows the user to specify which part of the scene is to be displayed. The process of selecting the part of the real world scene to display it on the some device is called a windowing. So a window is a rectangular region in the world coordinate system. The mostly rectangular shaped window is considered. And graphic package allows the user to specify which part of the scene is to be displayed. The process of the selecting that part of real world scene is to display it on the some device and that is called as the windowing. Next is viewport. Viewport is the section of screen where the photos around the windows in the world coordinate system will be drawn. A coordinate transformation is required to display an image encompasses by the window in the viewport. So the viewport uses a screen coordinate system. So this is a transformation from the world coordinate system to the screen coordinate system. So window defines what is to be displayed from the scene and viewport defines where is to be displayed on the screen. So actually clipping window is the rectangular window against which visibility of scene object is tested. So clipping is the process of deciding and removing the portion of object which is outside the clipping window. The part of the primitives outside the clipping window is not drawn. Clipping region may be of any arbitrary shapes, but to simplify the clipping procedure, rectangular region is used. So here, user can select single or clipping multiple windows simultaneously and clipping reduces the computations by not processing the unnecessary part of the object. So the visible vision of the scene inside the clipping window is displayed on some devices. And the more formally, the world coordinate area which is selected for display is called as the window. So here, the process of mapping the part of world coordinate system to device coordinate, it is referred to as a viewing transformation or window to viewport transformation or windowing transformation. So here we can say that it is a window and the part of the suppose window we have captured and it is displayed on the viewport. So this will be the viewport. So if we clip, if we clip this part of this image and it will shown here the clipping portion of the images. So this is called as the clipping. Clipping is the process of deciding or removing the portion of the object which is outside the clipping window. So here user can select single or clipping multiple windows simultaneously because clipping reduces the computation by not processing the unnecessary part of the object. So the process of mapping the part of the world coordinate system to device coordinate is referred to as a viewing transformation or window to viewport transformation or windowing transformation. So this figure illustrates the concept of relationship of window and a viewport. So we can define the scene by creating here objects with their actual dimensions. So y max, y mean these are the actual dimensions called modeling coordinates or local coordinate or master coordinate that is x of mc and x of yc. So here, once the object is designed, it is placed on the appropriate position in the scene using world coordinate system, which is shown in the figure number one, that is xwc, ywc. The scene may be displayed on different devices, so it must be mapped to the proper dimensions to render it properly. So world coordinate are then represented in normalized coordinate, that is x of nfc, and y of nc. So usually between 0 and 1. So this makes the system independent of the various display devices. These normalized coordinates can be easily scaled to fit on any size of the display by multiplying it with a proper scaling factor that is known as device coordinates 
x of dc, y of dc. So that is shown in this figure. So these are the device coordinates x of dc and y of dc. So the sequence of coordinate transformation that is shown in the figure. So modeling coordinates, then these are the world coordinates. In C, we have to normalize that coordinates. And finally, on the viewport, by considering the device coordinate, we have to display that the images. So the weaving pipeline is decided in this figure according to the descriptions. First of all, mod model coordinate called as MC. After that, that coordinate will get transferred into world coordinate. Next is coordinate again transformed into weaving coordinate. And finally, that coordinates will be normalized according to the viewport. And that final normalized weaving coordinates will be shown on the device coordinates or that coordinates will be transformed into the device coordinate. So in this way, the world coordinate system will be transferred into the device coordinate system. So as shown in this figure, we can view the scene on the device at a different locations by changing the position of the viewport. So the same window is mapped to the viewport as shown in this figure. Same window is mapped to the viewport, different size and location on the screen. So if I click this part, so if this device, according to this device, the window is shown will be slightly greater. And according to this viewport, window will show will be clipped window will be shows slightly smaller than this upper viewport. So window is mapped to a viewport with different sizes of, and the location on the screen. So to achieve this the zoom in effect, we shall may, uh, map window with different sizes on the fixed size viewport. If the window size is made smaller, we get a zoom in effect. And if the window size is made larger, we get a zoom out effect. So the panning uh, is achieved by moving a fixed size window over various position in the scene. So these are all about windowing and clipping in the computer graphics. Thank you all.